Movie Review The Night of the Iguana The Night of the Iguana, a film directed by John Huston and released in 1964, is the adaptation of Tennessee Williams' play of the same name, starring Richard Burton, Ava Gardner, Deborah Carr, and Sue Lyon. The film is a gripping exploration of mistakes, redemption, and the search for meaning amidst despair and hopelessness. Reverend Dr. T. Lawrence Shannon, played by Richard Burton, is an Episcopal preacher defrocked from his church in Virginia for an indiscretion with a young girl. He desperately takes a job as a tour guide for a group of Baptist teachers from Texas, headed by the belligerent Miss Fellowers. Vacationing in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, they end up in a dilapidated beach resort run by his old friend and lover, Maxine Falk, played by Ava Gardner. Shannon, Burton, a lifelong preacher, is caught in a philosophical crisis. His humanity clashes with his theology and one manipulative nymph, Sue Lyon, yes, the same Sue Lyon from Lolita. Shannon is tortured by the young girl's advances and finally gives in only to be found out by her chaperone. To save his job, Shannon hijacks the bus and takes the ladies to a remote motel high on the mountain, run by his ex-flame, Maxine Gardner. Maxine is a bawdy, hard-drinking, hard-loving gal who is proud of her small business but not too keen on the new arrivals, especially ones wanting to stay for any extended period. She still harbors a repressed love for Shannon, and to complicate matters, she expresses her love to him. Within moments of the group's arrival, two stragglers also enter. Hannah, Kerr, is a penniless watercolor painter who, with her aged grandfather, Nono, a supposedly renowned oral poet, they travel from place to place, selling their wares. They wearily hike up the mountain and plead for board, offering to paint or recite poetry to earn their keep. As the characters struggle with their passions, their pride and their self-understanding, egos disappear and walls come down, exposing more questions on how they got to this place. Who am I? Do my actions define me or do my thoughts? Why am I here? The answers come in tenfold, and in a poignant moment, Kerr reveals our purpose on Earth. To connect with each other, to help each other through each day, to meet, to see, hear, and feel, and share what we have experienced. This is the meaning of life. Tennessee Williams uses the tension created by these characters to explore the searching moments of the soul and to show that in one another, we can find answers about our purpose, salvation, and redemption. Different experiences from different walks of life can lead us to new understanding. Richard Burton is ideally cast as Shannon, as he seizes the screen with his Shakespearean voice and increasingly wild, self-defeating behavior. With her trademark purely of spirit, Deborah Kerr brings a curious mix of philosophy and simple-minded wisdom and love to Hannah, but it's Ava Gardner who gives her career best performance as Maxine, a brash, funny, an undeniably sexy person surrounded by her maraca-shaking beach boys. The film's setting, a character in its own right, adds to the story's tense atmosphere. The Mexican backdrop, with its lush landscapes and the omnipresent ocean, mirrors the tumultuous emotions of the characters. The waves crashing in the ocean are symbolic of the tumultuous lives of the characters. The cinematography by Gabriel Figueroa is stunning, capturing both the beauty and the oppressive heat of the setting, which also seems to be a reflection of the character's inner turmoil. John Huston's direction is masterful, bringing Tennessee Williams' complex characters and rich dialogue to life with a sense of clarity and purpose. He navigates the moral and existential dilemmas of the characters with a keen eye, allowing the story to unfold with a natural rhythm that keeps the viewer deeply engaged. At the time of filming, it attracted more attention for its location dramas than for what happened on screen. At the time, Liz Taylor was living with Richard Burton, 
whose agent was her previous husband, Michael Wilding. Ava Gardner's old friend Peter Viertel was around with being married to co-star Deborah Kerr. For this reason, John Houston, recognizing that there might be some good reason for infighting, gave all the leading cast members gold-plated guns with bullets and instructed them that if they didn't behave, they all had a gun and they could use it. The tactic worked and there were no problems on set. No golden guns were used. The Night of the Iguana is more than just a story of troubled individuals. It is a profound exploration of the human condition. The film delves into themes of loneliness, redemption, and the desperate search for meaning in a world that often seems devoid of it. The characters, each struggling with their own demons, are portrayed with depth and compassion, making their journeys resonant and universally human. In conclusion, The Night of the Iguana is a film that remains deeply impactful. With its powerful performances, stunning visuals and thought-provoking narrative, it is a testament to the enduring brilliance of Tennessee Williams' writing and John Huston's directorial vision.